Hello, it's Professor Fiore, and in this sequence of videos, we're going to be looking at embedded programming using the C programming language and the Arduino hardware platform. We're going to be using some free tools. This is a very low cost exploration, if you will. And we're going to be looking at this in a slightly different way than most Arduino courses or videos. We are going to look at this from a general embedded programming perspective. And the advantage of doing this is that you'll be able to transfer this knowledge to other hardware platforms much more easily. So while we will be diving into the Arduino libraries, we will also be looking at more generic ways of uh, approaching programming issues. So the first thing, of course, we're going to need is an appropriate book to go along with this. And if you go to my college webpage here, mvcc.edu slash jfiori, we have just the ticket for you. So come down here to my free books page. And here's a collection of uh, open educational resource texts that I've written. And you will find embedded controllers using C and Arduino available as PDF, open document text. And if you click on the print, you'll go off to Amazon. It's where you can get a uh, relatively low cost paperback version of this text. Now this is an eight and a half by 11 format so that you can print off sections of it if you are so inclined. There is also a laboratory manual that goes along with this. I'll take a quick look at the PDF here. So again, eight and a half by 11. So there's a series of things we're going to be looking at. Now, the first part of this, we're going to just be looking at the C programming language, and then we're going to get into the Arduino specifically, because we're going to program the Arduino in C. We need to know how to program in C. Now, if you already know how to program in C, you can kind of jump over um, the first section of this and get right into the Arduino uh, material. But otherwise, um, we need to, uh, like I said, look into the C programming language itself. So just to kind of give you an idea of where we're headed, this is the text. And there are a lot of links in the text. In the PDF, obviously, you can go around and, you know, link everything real nice. So we're going to be looking at this first section over here of different aspects of the C programming language. Um, we're not going to hit everything. This is sort of presented as a full explanation of the C programming language, but there are certain things that we really won't need to touch on for embedded programming. And then we sort of dive into this idea of, of uh, the embedded hardware, and then we're going to tear apart here the uh, individual parts of the Arduino library code to see exactly how things are done under the hood, if you will. All right, now, so um, tools. First thing we're going to need is a C compiler, right, to learn the C programming language. Now, there's a lot of choices out there. Um, a nice one that I like for the uh, Windows platform is Pellis C. So you can find this at smorgasbordet.com, Pellis C. Up to date, nice IDE. Uh, just click on the download link, download link and uh, you can just hit this setup. This will grab the uh, executable installer for you. So you just save this, click on setup.exe, it'll install it, everything's great. And then we also have other language uh, translations if you're interested in that, right? So that's a free uh, download for you, right? So we'll set that up. The other thing that we're going to need is Arduino. So we need the software and the hardware. So the software is available either as an online tool or as a download. This is multi-platform, right? So you can get the Windows installer um, for Macintosh, for Linux. So you can come down here um, and just grab this. Or if you want to, you can use the online editor, you know, whatever sort of works for you. We are going to focus on the Arduino Uno, which is a entry level, relatively inexpensive. You can find these things in the $20, $25 range in a variety of places. Um, it's a nice little device. You'll also want uh, a little proto board and other electronic components so that you can interface with it. So 
to really get the most out of this, you should have a good background in uh, AC and DC circuit theory, a background with uh, semiconductor devices, diodes, transistors, and also digital electronics, how to use gates, flip-flops, um, you know, memory, things like that. We're going to be touching on all of those things, right? Okay, so we will begin next time in our first programming video looking at Pellis C uh, and, and the very beginning elements, if you will, of, of the C programming language. How do we start? How do we program? Now, if you already know, uh, maybe let's say Java, the syntax is very similar. If you know another language like uh, Python, the syntax is a little bit different, but you're going to see a lot of similarities. You know, we still have if statements and for loops and while loops and things like that. So that's where we'll pick up next time. I'll see you then.